in this talk we'll talk about uh, mixture of integrated millimeter wave and microwave wireless network right so 5g people are just talk about 5g and then they say 5g is all about millimeter wave and massive mimo and all right so let's will focus this focus of this talk will be on millimeter wave and how do you mix this millimeter wave with microwave because microwave is also equally important right there is some advantage of, of microwave there is some problem with macro microwave right basically bandwidth if you look at the this is around 1 gigahertz to let's say 3 gigahertz or people say it's 6 gigahertz so microwave frequency has low no <coughs> bandwidth compared to millimeter millimeter we have 30 3 gigahertz to 30 gigahertz and then they now they say 3 gigahertz to let's say uh to 90 gigahertz right so they have it has a huge bandwidth right there is some advantage of millimeter wave at the same time some advantage of microwave and but there are some issues with millimeter wave right because if bandwidth is high like your noise is high your adc power is high there are so many things right so then we have to play some or we have to take some advantage of millimeter wave and some advantage of microwave right and then if you can mix these two we'll have a better I mean, better cellular network okay so in this talk we'll talk about the how do you mix these two kind of frequency so first we'll talk about what is the major challenge in millimeter wave and what is the advantage of millimeter wave okay so there are two things one is high path loss other is sensitivity to blockage right so i mean uh, this millimeter wave will have very high path loss because of this frequency Three space path loss frequency. I mean, this formula is there FSPL. It says that if frequency is high, your free space path loss will be high. That is well known. Second thing, the blockage is very, very high, you know, in the millimeter wave, right? So, millimeter wave cannot even cross a wall, where it macro, microwave can easily cross a building also, right? So, there are issues with millimeter wave. But these two are very general. The major issue with millimeter wave is this there is this is a noise formula right so noise power depends on the bandwidth if bandwidth is high noise power will be high right this is what you know is the problem the major problem with the millimeter wave not the free space path loss or the blockage the major issue is noise power right so the noise power is high so snr will be low and hence your spectral efficiency will be low See, in a wireless communication, spectral efficiency is very, very important thing, right? So, because if SNR is low, even your bandwidth is high, let's say SNR is very, very low, even if bandwidth is high, you cannot do anything, right? I mean, there is the issue of uh, reliability. Of course, you can have high rate, but you cannot talk because your SNR is low. So, SNR has to be high in the wireless communication, right? So, the, so, so basically, the noise power is basically high when you have high bandwidth. That is the major issue in millimeter wave. Second issue is higher circuit power consumption, right? So, ADC, ADC play a major role in uh, circuitry, mm -hmm. in a basically mobile circuitry or in a tower or in a uh, BTS uh, circuitry, right? So, this ADC power, ADC power is linear to bandwidth. It's basically A into B where A is a constant that depends on the uh, condensation rate and your, of course, the material that is used. So basically COX into two, 2 to the power R ADC, right? So this power of ADC or power consumption in the ADC is very, very high if your bandwidth is high, right? So what I would like to tell here is there are two issues apart from your high path loss and blockage effect so there are two major issues in the millimeter wave communication first is higher noise power and second is higher circuit power consumption right so both are very very high in the millimeter wave now the question is so can we do something because if you use higher bandwidth see why we are using millimeter wave is just because of higher bandwidth correct so then what can we do right this is what we are trying to answer here <clears throat> okay so this is the effect of uh, uh what you call more noise i mean your snr will be low evm will be low coverage will be low rate will be low everything will be low right so so the basically 
expect efficiency okay just this uh, you know summary so uh, you, if your uh, noise power is high so expect efficiency will be high however if you look at the impact of power consumption due to adc right it is you know in linear with the bandwidth so here there are two things right one is noise power other is uh, power consumption due to a a a adc among these two the power consumption in adc has a you know very bad impact on communication right because uh, of course power is if you look at mobile phone or you if you look, look at even the, at the bts it's fine but if you look at the mobile site right power is very critical issue here right so if you give high bandwidth at the same time if you if you, if you consume high power nobody will use it correct because power consumption at the mobile is very very important right so by keeping in mind this noise power as well as this bandwidth uh, this power consumption you know due to adc we have to think something else okay this is the plot of spectral energy efficiency right how much energy you will be used along with millimeter wave so basically what it shows that here there are three right r equal to basically r is the radius of the cell okay just look at one r let's say this r r equal to 100 meter for r equal to 100 meter efficiency is efficiency here means nats per hertz per watt right or bits per hertz per watt right so this bits per hertz per watt is very very high at lower bandwidth this means one megahertz right moment you go to one gigahertz right look at the efficiency it with it came from almost one to 0 0.01 or even lesser than this right so there is a huge loss in spectral energy efficiency if you use higher bandwidth and all because of higher noise power as well as higher power consumption because of adc right yeah increasing radius will also impact for microwave but this has more impact on millimeter wave because of this uh, obstacle because it cannot you know because of what you call blockage effect right so there are three things yes fully right one is the it is going down because of these two and also if you go for higher uh, radius for example from 100 i went to 500 right there's a drastically you know decrease in the efficiency right so because of maybe uh, yeah blockage effect only yes so yeah so this is the you know uh, major issue with the millimeter wave now these are not you know because if you look at the macro wave there we have like frequency you know very very less like in megahertz right i mean the bandwidth in megahertz so there is no issue of noise power there is no issue of adc right so the question is can we mix these two right this is what we are gonna do here so basically the solution is so there are some advantage of millimeter wave that is bandwidth and there are many disadvantage that is like noise power adc power consumption so can we combine macro wave with millimeter wave so that we can get advantage of both and we can get rid of uh, noise power and as well as and this uh, power consumption due to adc okay so yeah macro wave has you know lots of advantage low adc power low noise it can actually you know give a very high coverage and everything right so can we combine these two so by so there is a possibility or it's like you know there is a desire to combine microwave with millimeter wave network okay so the question is how to int integrate right so <clears throat> millimeter wave is noise limited if you look at the advantage of millimeter wave is interference there is no interference in millimeter wave because of uh, blockage effect right because signal you know gets blocked so there is no issue of interference here so millimeter wave is basically noise limited whereas microwave is basically interference limited right so this is the advantage of both now can we combine these two and you know get a better network okay so <clears throat> the question is how do you switch between millimeter wave and microwave interference right okay among these two microwave is more reliable compared to millimeter wave right because uh, there is no blockage effect of course there is a blockage but not much blockage effect in the case of in the yeah in the case of microwave interf uh, interface so what we can do is we can find the snr of the user 
if SNR is higher than some threshold SNR, okay, then we'll use millimeter wave interference. If it is lower than STH, if SNR is higher than some STH, we'll use millimeter wave interference. If it is lower, then we'll use macro wave interference. This is the thing that we are going to propose. Yeah, so the major thing that we have to keep in mind this year is the millimeter wave is not limited. That means what? There is no impact of interference in the millimeter wave. However, macro wave is interference limited. So we cannot use frequency reuse one in the macro wave, right? Let me see how, how it goes. So look at this network. This is similar to the fraction frequency reuse. This network has, you know, three kinds of cell. I mean, there are three cells. They are, you know, nearby. So cell one, cell A, cell B, and cell C, okay? So in this area, we can use millimeter wave at the center because the center will have less blockage effect compared to the edge user, right? Because the edge user will have more blockage effect, right? So that if signal travels from here to the edge, right, will have more blockage effect than signal travel from here to the center. That's why we have used a millimeter wave at the center <clears throat> everywhere, right? And macro wave at the edge. But here, macro wave, we have, we have divided into three parts, FA, FB, FC, just to avoid interference, OK? So there is some frequency reuse involved in the macro wave frequency. However, there is no frequency reuse involved in the millimeter wave, right? So millimeter wave will be used at the center, and uh, macro wave frequency will be used at the cell edge, right? Now, a user will see if a user have a SNR higher than HTH, will be used or will be served by millimeter wave. Otherwise, he'll be served by macro frequency. Okay, this is how it happens. Okay, so mainly we look at all the three parameters: coverage probability, average rate, and energy efficiency. Right. So if you use only millimeter wave in the entire cell, cell size could be 500 meter. Right. Because 500 meter is like very very less. You cannot make it 100 or 200 meter. 200 meter is like very very you know. I mean, only it's like how many four or five buildings will cover. You you cannot put the BTS everywhere. Right, it has you know it should be it has some cost, so it should be you know some far apart. So if you look at millimeter wave, if you entirely millimeter wave everywhere, coverage will be very very low. Average rate might be high because of bandwidth, but again the energy efficiency will be very very low because it has huge bandwidth. Coverage is low because of obstacle. So this is what we'll see here. Now if you mix, then what will happen, right? So these are the parameters for simulation we have considered, right? Microwave carrier frequency is like 2 gigahertz, millimeter 28 gigahertz. Bandwidth here 10, here we bandwidth 100, like 10 times higher than this, right? Microwave bandwidth is 10 megahertz, and millimeter wave is 100 megahertz. Uh, power, we have taken less for the millimeter wave, 30 dBm, here 46 dBm. Uh, path loss exponent 2 and 3.75, here 2 and 4. 2 for the line of sight, and uh, Four for the non line of sight. This is the antenna thing, right? Uh, 18 dBi antenna. 10 is the. Okay, this for the millimeter is 10, and for this it is 18. Uh, noise power density 174 dBm per hertz, right? And then ADC power consumption is this. Okay, so <clears throat> there are three things, right? One, if I use uh, millimeter wave frequency everywhere, what will happen in the network? We'll see, right? And then I would like to compare this. And then one, if you use microwave everywhere, okay? These two I'll compare with if we mix microwave as well as millimeter wave, right? So this is how we'll, we're gonna see. <clears throat> we are gonna see here. So the first thing we'll show is coverage probability, right? So <clears throat> this is what if you use only millimeter wave, right? So coverage is very, very low because of, I mean, the ma many issue. One is the bandwidth issue. Second is the blockage effect, right? Uh, yeah, both basically mix. So coverage probability is very, very low in the case of millimeter wave compared to microwave. This is what if the microwave will use, right? So coverage will be this much. But if you mix these two, coverage will be, you know, higher compared to, you know, these two. And the reason is this, here, 
see here we have taken advantage of both so if the snr is high that means if the user is happy with millimeter wave i'll just go for millimeter wave otherwise i'll go for microwave with frequency reduce 3 Basically, this is what macro wave with frequency reduce one. So, this is what macro with frequency reduce one. This is millimeter wave if the SNR is good. If SNR is low, then we'll switch to the macro wave with frequency reduce three. That's why the coverage is higher, right? But what is the advantage? There's no advantage because there's no see uh, frequency reuse we use just to reduce interference. In the millimeter, there's no interference. Yes. Yeah, no frequency reduce in millimeter because already interference is gone because of all the blockage effect, right? Microwave since signal travels a lot. I mean, uh, at higher, I mean, at, at at high distance, so you have to use some kind of frequency reuse to minimize interference, right? That's why the coverage is higher. Not because we have. I'm mean, using a mix of these two. Coverage higher because we use frequency reuse three. For the microwave, and microwave if you basically used at the edge. Okay, this is what uh, <coughs> the uh, this is what again the coverage problem. It's okay. It's all about density, right? So lambda is uh, 1.5 to 4, 2, 4, and 1.5, right? So if you look at millimeter coverage probability, it goes down if lambda is high. Lambda is the uh, density of BTS. If density of BTS is basically here, if you look at right. So from four to two, so it's basically less here. Then density is less means, yes, that means range is high. Radius is high. If radius is high, coverage will be low for the millimeter case, wave case, right? This is further low. So if radius is basically high, if you go below, radius is high means millimeter wave, coverage will be low. That's obvious because there's a blockage effect. Okay, so here we see the coverage probability with respect to lambda i mean like this so lambda is going to be higher and higher means what the radius will be uh, lower i mean radius will be okay lambda is basically here uh, high means uh, radius will be low okay if radius will be low so coverage probability will be uh, this is the proposed model this is what the conventional uh, macro wave this is what conventional millimeter wave right then we go for average rate so average root again the conventional is higher compared to millimeter wave as well uh, it's like a, a rate per hertz bits per yeah bits per bits per hertz basically nats is basically if you take log base 2 it is called bits if you take log base e it is called nats so nats per hertz basically right so average rate means nats per hertz because we cannot compare uh, because millimeter wave has huge bandwidth if you if you remove the hertz right then this guy will always be on top millimeter wave that's why i find out the nats per hertz per hertz how much rate is there so millimeter will have very very less compared to both but if you look at the mix right it is much higher than these two uh, because the macro wave will have higher snr that means it's just log one plus snr there is no b there because uh, we have taken r by b Per hertz, that means we have taken this side, right? So SNR is much higher in the conventional microwave. It is much lower here. If you mix these two, it will be in between, right? So coverage is much higher, whereas rate is in between these two. Okay. So yeah, coverage is much higher uh, compared to millimeter wave and microwave for this uh, kind of mix. And then rate is somewhere in between. Now, if you look at the energy efficiency, right? This guy is the microwave, lowest one. Millimeter wave is this, and uh, this guy is higher for some SNR threshold. So basically, SNR threshold works somewhere at zero dB. At zero dB, if you look at right, so the energy efficiency is higher here in the case of mixture compared to these two. Yeah, so basically SNR threshold means if you look at right now, this phone can work easily at zero dB. It can also work if you, if it is minus two dB or minus three dB. It actually it can work. So basically this mobile can easily you know work on this uh, minus two dB or minus three dB. 
that's why they have kept till minus 10. It can't work at minus 10, definitely cannot. It can work till minus 2 degree or minus 3 degree, something like this. Basically, if your signal power is lesser than interference power, by, or it's like, let's say it is half of the interference power, it can work. That's why they have kept till minus, minus 10, it, it will never achieve. Minus 10 is like too much. At the, that, that means your noise independence is very, very high. So at this region, it will never go. It will be around zero degree. But people are, you know, always just to hear 10. And, uh, also, 10 is like very difficult to get 10. Right? So they just plot uh, from minus 10 to 10. But usually it is around zero dB. So there are three things here. Uh, coverage quality, average rate, and energy efficiency. So coverage quality is uh, higher for this proposed one, much higher than these two. Rate is somewhere in between. And energy efficiency is also, I mean, it's like almost better than these two, right? So we can always go for, uh, you know, uh, mixture of these two. So just conclusion. Okay, thank you.